to be honest, I think you already knew the answer because this question was very popular on YouTube and it's already answered. But I want to have my take on it. So that's why I put in the question. First, let's see the result when you accelerate the balloon actually flies forwards. Okay, let's see what's happening in the car. If you draw the forces, then there should be an acceleration pointing downwards. But as the car accelerates, it should also be an acceleration forwards. And so these forces combine and should give a total acceleration this way. Inside the car, it's a little different. Of course, we have gravity pointing downwards, but you are being pushed back to the seats. So, and so for you inside the car, this is actually the acceleration you experience. If we had a pendulum inside the car, then it would align with this arrow right here because it's the total acceleration. Let me just draw that. If we had a pendulum here and the car accelerates, it would align with the vector and it would fly this way backwards, as you know from a normal pendulum in a car. I'm telling you this because instead of accelerating the car, we could just take the car, put it on a ramp, and then the vector forces of acceleration would be exactly the same. And if we had a normal pendulum in there, the it would align in the exact same way. So we don't have to accelerate the car, we can just tilt it and we'll see the same. Now let's imagine this jar is the car and the water is the air and I have a pendulum here. So if I push it, the pendulum flies backwards. Freeze. You can clearly see the pendulum fly backwards as in with the car. Now we learned before this was equivalent to just tilting the object. So we tilt the object and we see the pendulum flies backwards. Perfect. I added this ping pong ball to represent the helium balloon in the car. If I accelerate it, then we can just see that the ping pong ball flies forwards, as with the helium balloon in the car. Okay, it isn't easy to see, you can just see it, but let's try to tilt the object instead. There we have it, the helium balloon or the ping pong ball flies forwards when it's being accelerated and the pendulum flies backwards. It's easy to see with this water in the tank setup, I think. But it's quite weird when you sit in a car and expect something to fly backwards and it flies forward. 